it was 1978, and my family escaped the Vietnam War on a small-ass boat that carried 410 people. They left behind their culture, their homes, the beautiful rainforests and rice fields became a memory so repressed, even the U.S. government's trying to forget about it. Yet even then, my grandma still holds on to what's left of our culture and tradition despite laying on her hospital bed at age 79. And my uncles refuse to give up on her because she will be the last connection to our past that holds wisdom and untold stories passed down from our family's ancestors, yet our story doesn't even begin in Vietnam. It begins in Hong Kong, where police were so corrupt against anti-communist Vietnamese citizens, it was like a parallel universe to a pre-civil rights movement where homes were being raided and ransacked with no warning, they moved to Vietnam and experienced the same type of oppressions with their anti-Chinese government. You would think that after two countries of bullshit, their move to the States would be free from all the racism. American dream, please give us freedom, my mom said. My family is a two-time immigrant with a mixture of three cultures squeezed together into a chaotic battlefield. Our history is filled to the brim with struggle, yet I am the first generation in my family who did not bear witness to the atrocities a government can do to an innocent life, at least not to that caliber. Instead, through the stories I've gathered from my family, I carry their strength and move forward to find respect in the hearts of others. And yet, nothing got people more excited about my presence than starting a Vietnam Year in Humanities class. As if I were alive when that happened, people asked me how it felt to come back from the war and joked about my napalm burns and talked to me as if I were nothing more than a trivia question. Why did no one shoot glances to the white people and ask how they feel when they started the Vietnam War? Or how they spent billions of dollars to destroy Vietnam through airstrikes burns and chemical warfare and still managed to lose the war against 80-year-old grandmas and farmers. <laughs> or how they managed to not see the difference between Vietnam and Korea and fought two wars for pretty much the exact same reasons, like we were the same type of people. We are the few people who are so marginalized, our color represent nothing more than a guessing game. Now, my heritage consists more than just rice fields, squinty eyes, and math. It represents years of struggle and dignity. It represents the Chinese who worked on the transcontinental railroads to feel connected to a world better than their war-torn homes, than banished by law. It represents the bravery my family took to leave Vietnam during the war and seek refuge in the land that destroyed our homes. We focus on success in education so much because we were never given either opportunities to begin with, yet no one seems to see the struggle in our blood. Escaping death turned into being a fresh off the boat chink. Hard work and dedication becomes, oh, he's just Asian. Anything less is disgraceful. Sweatshops and child labor becomes iPads and jeans for white Christmas. How can we find respect for ourselves in this country when the only question apparently worth asking is, what kind of Asian are you? Every time we are mistaken for another nationality we might share similar qualities with, or when we are clumped together as if Asia is a singular culture, it's stripping away our individuality and identity to the point where our history becomes nothing more than a joke, nothing more than glance looks when talking about Vietnam in humanities class. Yes, I am Vietnamese. No, I will not eat your fucking dog, don't worry. nor that I make her sweater, like having a black president somehow puts us in this post-racial society. It doesn't matter how many times we see history repeat itself when I'm still being the target of Agent Orange and napalm jokes as if cancer and the deaths of millions of innocent people is funny. And yet, Vietnam is still rated as one of the highest pro-American countries in the world because we are willing to cast our shadows away and seek unity within these tattered bridges, we do not make a mockery of each other's pain.
because the United States represents everything we do not. They are an ideology run on opportunity and freedom, while Vietnam is still a corrupt and unstable land. The idea of the American dream is enough reason to seek compassion rather than hatred. So what kind of Asian am I? I am part of the next generation evolving our culture with a mixture of fish sauce and aspiration running in my veins. I am split between two nations battling each other out into a hybrid cultural fusion. I am American by heart, yet I still feel the racism my family had to endure coming to the States and their broken English attracting hatred like crows to a dead animal. And I still feel sadness when I'm asked if I'm either Chinese, Japanese, Filipino, or Korean and hear excuses that we all look the same anyway. And I still feel the shame in my parents' eyes when their tradition warps their minds into a linear journey and disgraces us when we do not follow their same path. And I still feel dignity and I still feel pride and I still feel frustration when our brother is when our history of pain repeats itself upon our brothers and sisters in Afghanistan, Iraq, New York, and Ferguson, and I still feel like I need to hold on to my family's traditional values and not have our history and culture lost in translation, yet I am still American by heart. I want to be able to live in a society where I can push away the stereotypes associated with the previous generation push away the Orientals, Celestials, Chinamen, Chinks, Gooks. I want to feel proud and still hold strong to my individuality and identity and not be mistaken for anything with similar qualities. I want to be seen for who I am and not where I am from and not let skin color determine my value of worth long before our eyes meet. I possess a voice willing to overturn our generation of Asian Americans out of the stereotypes of our past. I will live to see ourselves be treated as equal. Are you satisfied with my answer yet? Now tell me. What kind of American are you? Wow.